and we're making a 3D printed grappling hook. The idea from this video came from the 3D printed Wolverine Claws video I did. A man and his grappling hook are very cool. So, and I also wanted to 3D print something for a video. And so, here we are. Now, I'm gonna go model something up in Fusion 360. So, now I've modeled this up in Fusion 360, and here is one part of it. I actually made it in two parts. And this is the base plate, and then I also have the hooks right here. And you can see this little um, piece that sticks out on the end. And I'm actually going to take that piece, and you can see it is a little circle, just a little cylinder. And I'm going to put it through the two hook pieces right here, as you can see. And it goes through this hole, and they'll actually be perpendicular to each other, so you'll have a little arch piece going out in all four directions, so it'll hook good. And then you've got this little circle thing, and the purpose of that is so you can clip something into it, you know, for hooking a rope to it, so you can throw it or anything like that. And then also you've got this little box right here that's a base plate. But yeah, that's my design. And now, I'm going to 3D print it. So now I have a 3D printer time lapse. This is actually the first 3D printer time lapse I've actually ever made. And first I am printing the little base plate right here. And actually a funny story about that. I walked out right at the beginning and I turned off the light an hour later. And I realized, oh no, the light's not on. It goes black. But I actually removed that part, of course. But now I'm printing the um hooks, as you can see. And I always use a raft because I had problems with the um, print sticking to the base plate, but yeah. So now, I gotta get this sucker off the printer and I'll show it to you guys. Let's go. So as you guys can see, the parts are done and let me take my rafts off. Don't need those, bye bye. And so now I'll talk about the next steps for this project. Yep, I've removed the raft that was on there, as you saw in the previous clip. And now all I gotta do is remove some supports that are in here. And I am going to glue it using liquid nails adhesive. Yep. So, as you can probably tell, it's the next day and the glue has dried. A little bit of a messy glue job, but now it's complete and ready for testing. We got this bad boy rope, which is real nice with this special clip that's like twist. And we're just gonna clip it on there, twist it up and we'll be ready to test. The swing test worked! It hooked! It's complete! <laughs> now we're doing the swing test. Darn it. So this is test two and it's durability. And now we're gonna hook this thing on here with attached to this bucket and we're just gonna slowly add the weight. Here we go. Now the lowest weight we do have is 2.5 pounds. So let's add it to the bucket. And see if it breaks. Okay, oh. it's steady for right now. Let's put 2.5 more pounds. That's five pounds, guys. So you can officially say that this thing holds five pounds. We're gonna remove the 2.5, add five, then add another 2.5. Five pounds. And a 2.5 pound. Another 2.5. Broke at seven pounds, 7.5 pounds. Broke right off clean. Well, that concludes our test. Let's go. Now we know that this 3D printing thing, it's not made for usability, strength, or even like hooking, because it took us like multiple tries to hook. 
So now we know it's just made to be a cool thing, look cool, and sit on your desk. Now, go check out the link in the description for the Thingiverse file on our Thingiverse account. Bye.